Hey everybody, what's up? This is Mark with Eternal Lighting, and we're here today at the Eternal Lighting headquarters. And I've got DJ Bo. He's off screen right now. You can't see him, but he's helping me out today. He's going to run the DMX control. And what I'm going to show you today is the Cube 4, the Eternal Lighting Cube 4. This fixture is 10 watts RGBW with wireless DMX built in. Let me show you about that. These are the diodes here that I was telling you about. They're 10 watts each. We've got actually uh, red, green, blue, and white. This is a very, very wide wash. It's a 45 degree beam angle. And we're controlling this wirelessly right now. Here is the actual wireless receiver and there's a power switch to turn it on. If you're not running the wireless receiver and you're just doing a manual mix, you could just turn it off and it wouldn't be draining the battery. On the back of the fixture, you notice we've got our push button display here. You've got a DMX in and output that you can use this just like a fixture that you would plug in the wall and run cables to it if you wanted to. Uh, but the entire idea of this is wireless, battery powered, rechargeable. And by the way, this is a 20 hour fixture. So this is designed so that way you can do an event, run it for four hours, turn it off, pack it away, then go back the next day and do the event, another event for four hours and not have to recharge it. That's the, kind of the idea. Um, no one wants a fixture that's just going to last six hours or up to eight hours um, because we all know that who wants to charge it every time. We want to make this as easy as possible, so that was important. We want to provide a product that could be usable in the field. Um, there's two power switches here. We've got a power switch for charging, and we have a power switch for just power. And you'll notice there's an IEC cable here, or input cable. Um, this is a standard IEC cable, something you can get at any store, anywhere readily available. You probably already have a bunch of them. One is included with the fixture. That's how you charge it. You plug in an IEC cable. When you're not using it, there's a little dust cover to cover it up. And then there's a power output, so you can linkable power each of these when you're charging it. That's very nice. So you can just run a couple cables off of, you know, you can plug in 10 of them if you wanted to. And then just plug one cord in the wall and let them charge. There's a battery life charge indicator here that's uh, to let you know when it's fully charged. Um, best case to do this is what I do. I just charge it for six hours and I know they're charged. I don't even have to look at the indicator. Um, you can also charge it overnight if you wanted to. It's not going to hurt the fixture. All right, let's go ahead and do some DMX control. We've got it properly addressed and we'll shine it this way so it doesn't glare in the, the view of the, the image here. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the channels. Channel 1 is red. Channel 2 is green. Channel 3 is blue. And channel 4 is white. Alright, channel 5 is our master dimmer. So you, you need the dimmer all the way up to be able to control the fixture. Um, go ahead and put it on channel uh, red. And Number six, you want to control it now. Number six is actually macros, so it's going to go through color change. When you're at the bottom of the fader, it's going to go slow. When you're all the way at the top of the fader, you'll notice the change will go really fast. You'll notice some of the colors here. You'll, you'll see some pastels and different colors. Uh, there's about 15 preset colors in there. Pretty neat to go through all those. You can do all kinds of uh, creative things with your events. All right, bring that down. And now we've got uh, channel seven, I believe, which is strobe. So if you put on uh, green or white and then hit the strobe, you've got at the very bottom of the fader at zero, it's, it's off. As you slowly move it up, it gets faster. And 255 is a, it's a crazy, insane like flash. All right, and now going to channel eight, make sure the dimmer's all the way up, please. Now, this is a feature that we added recently to our fixtures. It's channel eight, it's sound active DMX control. So you're basically turning on sound active mode. So when I'm hitting the table, it's hearing that noise. If we had music in here, it'd be doing the same thing. And whenever it gets to a point, it'll start fading when it does not hear any sound. And when you do hear sound, I'm just banging on the table here, but that's what's creating the noise, which is activating the sound in the microphone in the fixture. Uh, one other thing, these are flicker-free diodes, which is very important for video production and recording for studio work. Um, so these could be used as a production 
piece. Anyways, uh, let's just do a quick look around of the fixture. Completely wireless, battery powered. That's the Eternal Lighting Cube. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can always email us. Go to our website or give us a phone call. Our email address is support at eternal lighting, or you can call us at 1-888-930-5337. Thank you again, Eternal Lighting.